you, Jesus. The book of Romans chapter number 8. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Let us repeat verse number seven together. I want to go. Ah, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, the reason being that it can not be subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. You may be seated. That's what I do to what they do. The reason why we ended up uh, talking about uh, the 10% that belongs to God it was because we were now talking about the law of God. When Abraham paid tithe to Melchizedek, Abraham we like I said before it was in the New Testament before the Old Testament. And Testament which means tithe or tithing was practiced in the New Testament. Before the Old Testament. Testament Satyatanga. There were laws that were given by God even before the Old Testament laws. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All these great patriarchs that we have in the Bible. They were operating under the laws of God, but which were different from the laws that Moses gave to the children of Israel. So, we are still under a certain law which is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. So tithing, it is a law that has to be followed and once it is broken something breaks once it is broken then something in your life will break so you will notice that it is very very even it is even exciting to pay your tithe to God only if you begin to understand the benefits of tithing. It will be something that you would want to do on a daily basis if you know the benefits. So tithing shouldn't be something that is very difficult to do. Considering it's, it's, it, it, was, it wasn't your money in the first place. So it has to be easy for you to give God what belongs to God and take what belongs to you. 
saka zvinofanira kuva nyore kuti upe mwari zvamwari iotora zvako but how we got to this where we are now and we're talking about the 10% Asika shikiro katakaita patiri ko zvinochitaura pamusoro pechegumi. It was it's coming from that point where Paul is telling us that the carnal mind can never be subject to the law of God. Zviri kubva padano iro Paulo paari kutudza kuti murangariro wenyama haugone kuzvideredza kumirairo yamwari. I acted out something here on Tuesday. Dine chinu chandaka ratidza pano semfananidzo muswe chipiri. And I called somebody here to come and he was standing there. Ndikadana mumwe munhu kuti auye akamira apa. And I was explaining something that I would want to make sure you really understood. Ndichitsana ngura chimwe chinhu chandoda kuva nechokwadi kuti makanzwisisa. I I I explained some some uh, mysterious things but I I think I managed to explain them very well. Ndakatsana ngura zvimwe zvinhu zvakavanzika asi ndinotenda kuti ndakagona chose kuzitsana ngura. So we can still have the same person come coming back again. Saka tinogona kukumbira munhu mumwe chete kuti adzoke. And I was explaining this particular verse. Ndaitsana ngura ndima i talking about how the carnal mind cannot be subject to the laws of God. Ndichitaura pamusoro pekuti murangariro wenyama hukwanise kuzvideredza pasi pemurairo yamwari. Okay, let me ask you the first question. What did I say concerning this man or these people? What did I say? Rega endi kupfunze mvunzo kutanga ndakati kuti pamusoro pavano vakamira apa. The first thing that I asked you, I asked you a question. Chini chekutanga chandaka ita ndaka kupfunza imu mvunzo. And what was it about? Ndaka kupfunza ikuti kuti. Hello? I said, how many are they? Ndakati vangani apa. And we came up with a number, which was how many? Tika ne minduro Two people, which, 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 which are the first one? We and the second one? And we, and we said the physical man is the one that we see standing here. And we said the spiritual man is the one inside of the physical man. And again we said the physical man is the natural and he is the carnal man. And the man inside is the spiritual man. And then we said the natural man or the carnally minded cannot be subject to the law of God. And so then I said if God is giving them a law ndokuti kana mwari achivapa murairo one of them is exempted. Mumwe pakati pawo abatwe ne murairo. When God comes to you and he gives you a law, kana mwari akauya kwauri akakupa murairo. He is not giving that law to the natural man. Askupa murairo iwo yokumunhu wenyama because the natural man can what not be subject to the law of God. So the moment God gives you a law, that law is given to who? Hello? Why is it not given to the carnal man? According to that scripture, why is it not given to the natural man? Hello? Okay. When a law is given to the natural man, it is given to him so that he can break it. That's it. Even if we are to talk of the Ten Commandments that Moses gave, 
Kunyange tika taura pa msoro pemirairo ine gumi yakapiwa na Moses. The first person to break those laws it was Moses himself. Munhu wekutanga kuchikora mirairo iyo ndi Moses pache zvake. Remember when he came back Rangarira pa akadzoka and he was angry looking at what they were doing they were already into idolatry can you imagine these people were already breaking the law before it was given to them and Moses was the first to break the stones to break the law why because every time when the law is given to the flesh it is given to the flesh so that the flesh can break it no two ways about it so i want you to follow on this one When God gives you a law, kana mwari akupa murairo. Like when God tells you to give him 10%. Se apo mwari pano kuudza kuti umupeche gumi. He's giving that law to the spirit man inside of the physical man. Ari kupa murairo iyo yokumunhu wemweya ari mukati momunhu wenyama. So that the spirit man can give to God what belongs to God. Kuti munhu wemweya agopa kuna mwari zvamwari. But then the spirit man has to get that 10% from the natural man. Which means your spirit man has to be more powerful than your physical man. So that your spirit man can visit the natural man and take 10% from the physical man and give it to God. So please, I want you to understand this part. So when God asks you for 10%, he's not asking the physical man. Because the physical man cannot. He's asking the spirit man. But then the spirit man has to get it from the natural man. Hence, there is a fight. Are you following? Okay. So these are some of the benefits. That you get when you tithe. When you give your 10% to God, before you can benefit yourself, it is the 90% that benefits. Because the 90% relies on the 10% for its survival. The 90% Please, if you can write this down, it will be better. The 90% depends on the 10% for its survival. So if God was going to find 10% of the people in the, in the land of Sodom, he was going to spare the 90%. The reason why the entire city was bent to ashes. It was because God couldn't find only 10% of the people. So the 90 suffered only because of the 10% that was missing. So those people were never tithed. 
Saka vanu ivava vana kumbenge vabviswa sechegumi. 10% of the citizens of that uh, 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 nation were supposed to be given to God. They were supposed to be righteous. Nyika iyo yaifanira kupa chegumi chevanhu vakarura makuna mwari. And the 90% were going to survive only because of the 10%. Just like that money that you have in your pocket. The 90 will only survive as long as the 10 belongs to God. Are you following what I'm talking about? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This is something that you, I want you to follow. My, my spiritual father, spiritual father. Archbishop uh, Nicholas Duncan Williams. Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. There was somebody who was very, very close to him in, 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 in Ghana. And this guy was a, was a business person. He had a lot of money. And we are talking of millions of dollars. And this guy could not do anything without consulting uh, the Archbishop. So this time around, he came to the Archbishop. He came to his place. They were very close to each other. And he said, there is this business that I'm into, which I'm going to realize millions of dollars out of it. But I've been looking for somebody that I can do it with. And I've been introduced to this uh, young man that I, that I saw. But this young man happens to be your son in this ministry. So I just thought of letting you know that he's going to be part of what I'm doing, your son. And the Archbishop said, okay, before you can sign anything, let me check first. And then he went away after some few minutes, he came back. And then he said to this gentleman, how much is going to be involved in this business? Give me the exact figures. What are you really going to get out of it? And these guys uh, mentioned some millions of dollars again. And then the Archbishop said, if you are into millions of dollars, I would suggest that you drop this young man. Though he is a member of my church. But if he is able to steal from God, definitely he is going to steal from you. I have gone through our records and I found out that he is not a tither. So please, if you can find somebody else, not this one. Just on one condition, because if he can steal from God, he can surely steal from you. So as soon as this business person left, the Archbishop had to call that young man. And he told him, he said, there is this man that came to me and he confirmed, he said, of course, I know him. We are about to sign some papers. I'm sure we are going to do it tomorrow. And the Archbishop said, I've told him to drop you. 
Archbishop Ndokuti ndamudza kuti asiyane newe. So he's never coming back to you so please stop bothering him. Saka askuzodzoka kwa uri iwe chirega kumuneza because you are not a tither. Nekuti hauvise chegumi. Because I know you are eventually going to steal from him because you have been stealing from God. So whether you backslide or what, but this is the truth. So you need to understand what, what we are talking about here. These are principles that are supposed to be followed. There will come a time when your father cannot connect you anymore unless you are faithful in the area of tithe. Hello? Am I talking to somebody? Okay, somebody can say, okay, Mr. Preacher, what if I'm coming from a church that does not believe in tithing? I like the way you are putting it. Coming from a church. It was, a, it was going to be a problem if you were still there, but we are talking, you are talking of coming from a church. Anyway, let me explain just one thing. If you are coming from a church that does not believe in tithing. What if you are also coming from a church that does not believe in the law of gravity? Are you going to be exempted only because you don't believe in that? Whether your church believes it or not, as long as it is a principle, it remains a principle everywhere. Your 90% relies on the 10%. Unless the 10% goes to God, the 90 will not be spared. The Because when you tithe, you give 10% to God. Then God will come and rebuke the devourer that is coming after the 90. God is only moved into rebuking the devourer after he has received the 10%. So if you give to God, if you have hundred dollars, and you give God uh, five dollars, and you assume that's your ten percent, are you used to think that maybe God will send enough grace to cover only the uh, 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 maybe the, 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 the $50 or maybe the $40 or something like that. But as long as it is not 10%, it doesn't move God into rebuking the devourer. Therefore, if it is not 10%, you have got hundred dollars and you pay nine dollars and some, some cents. God will not be moved into rebuking the devourer over the 90%. Because it is not 10%. So these are benefits. Saka is no one equal. The ninety percent has to benefit. That is if you give the 10% to God. Number two, there is the restoration and recovery of the 90%. Listen to this. Write it down. There is the restoration or the restoration and the recovery of the 90% is guaranteed. You pay your tithe. 
Pano vane chisimbiso chekuti kuzorerezwa kwe makumi mapfumba mukuvamuza na asara kwato vapo kana wapadara chegumi. There will be the restoration and the recovery of the 90%. If you lose the 90%, you are guaranteed that you recover it, you get it back if you have given the 10% of that uh, amount. Ukarasikirwa nema 10 mapfumba mwekuvamuza na asaraya, unechokwa diche kuti ucha awana zakare kana wabadara chegumi. So it doesn't mean that after paying your 10%, Everything will be going right. Things can go wrong. The enemy can come after the 90%. Your car can be stolen. Your house can be taken. As long as that house is part of the 90% and you have given the 10% to God, there is, there is an assurance that God will restore what you have lost and there will be a recovery of what you have lost. So paying your 10% you have secured your 90%. So even if you lose it, you will still get it back. Even if you lose it, and you are a tither, you will still get it back. That is guaranteed. Number three, these are benefits. It purchases the blessing even for the next generation. Ten percent. It is enough to buy you a blessing. Not just for yourself, but even for the coming generation. Look at the book of Hebrews, chapter number 7, verse 9 and 10. You may sit for some few minutes. Hebrews, chapter number 7, verse 9 and 10. And as I may... So say, Levi also who received tithe paid tithe in Abraham. Verse number 10. For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. Are we together? You know, among us, the tribes of Israel, there was Levi as a tribe. And it is from the Levites where we get the priests. And it was the priests that were responsible of receiving the 10% on behalf of God. And in this particular verse, the writer is letting us know that even Levi paid tithe before Abraham had a son, Abraham Levi was already inside of him. And as Abraham was paying tithe to Melchizedek, Levi also participated. Abraham Melchizedek. And the Bible is clear on that one. During that time, Levi was still in the loins of his father. So you can see that you are already bringing forth a generation that knows how to tithe. Which means 10% covers even the children that are yet to be born. 
Zunoreva kuti chegumi chino fukidzira kunyange nevana vasati vabarwa. Your children will never fail in life. Vana vako havanga tokundikane muupenyu. Levi, Revi. When Abraham met Melchizedek, Levi was not yet there. Abraham achisangana na Melchizedek, Revi akanga asati abarwa. But he was still in the loins of his father Abraham. So as Abraham was committing to the work of God, Levi was also part of that same commitment. So as you minister even in the house of God, it is not just yourself that, you, that will benefit. It is yourself and your family and your sons, sons and your daughters, daughters. Isn't it amazing? That Levi also paid tithe. So if you are carrying the next generation, be careful of what you do now. Because they are also participating in whatever you are doing. Are you following this? Number four. It's a benefit again. When you tithe, you have got access to spiritual food. Like I said, I will say it again. Look at the book of Malachi chapter number 3, verse number 10. Malachi chapter number 3, verse number 10. Bring you all the tithe into the storehouse. All. It's not just one tithe. All. I'll talk about that. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse that they may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith. Who is saying this? Who is saying this? The Lord. Now, I want you to understand one thing before we finish the, uh, the rest of the uh, verse. I was at a certain conference and it was, it was now time to give an offering. And this preacher that was leading us into giving an offering said something. He said it is time to give to God now. So I want all of you to be ready before we can get a song so just bring out your offering so I had a hundred dollar note in my pocket and then I brought it out and then he said something he said the people that I'm asking to give today are only those ones that are willing to give and they don't expect anything in return. As soon as he said that, I said, Lord, I folded my money back into the pocket. Because I'm not part of those people you know, some statements they, 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 they sound very nice and yet they are not biblical yes. there is no farmer that goes into the field without an expectation am I talking to somebody I'm, I'm telling there are certain statements that sounds to be more spiritual and yet they are more carnal. Yes. Sowing, so it is a principle. Whatever you sow, you reap. Murairo, <laughs> So I said, okay, maybe it's not ready for me. 
I'll have to wait for the next either ne the next preacher or maybe the next service. But sowing a seed and you don't expect a harvest, it is impossible. If you are going to give, especially me, any seed, and you don't expect anything from God, don't give it to me. You are, you, are, you are a foolish farmer. You don't know what you are doing. Whenever you give to God, you have to expect a harvest. There's nothing wrong with that. Actually, it is God himself who promised you that. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall never cease. <laughs> Let's turn to Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. Bless me for what I'm doing. Why? Because I've got enough faith to receive. Some of you have got a lot of faith when it comes to giving, 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 and you don't have enough faith when it comes to receiving and receiving and receiving. You need faith when you are giving and you need faith to get a harvest. When you prepare for the sowing season, you have to prepare also for the harvest season. Hello? Are because even when it is time for you to get a harvest, and you don't have the necessary equipment to gather the harvest you, 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 you can lose the harvest so if there is any preparation when you are going to sow your seeds into the field there has to be a preparation when, when you are also going to collect your harvest and in this verse God is telling us that give or bring your tithe into the storehouse so that they may be food in my house. If you, if, you, if you didn't get it last time, please try to get it this time. He mentioned two things there. There is the storehouse and there is the house. The storehouse it is just a place where your tithe is being kept. And the house imba that is where you will then come and get food. Okay, let me give you the picture. If you are good at word study, you go and look at that word meat. It signifies the physical food and also the spiritual food. Is we rakanzi so what happens is this when you give your 10% to God it is collected by these gentlemen here and they put it into the storehouse so that when you come for the service to the house of God there will be enough spiritual food for you 
Because of the 10% that you have given into the storehouse. Nothing in the storehouse and nothing in the house of God. If there is nothing in the storehouse, it means there is also nothing in the house of God. So get this. Spiritual food comes when people have committed themselves to God. If you starve the storehouse, it means the house of God also will starve you. And I can, I can guarantee you this one thing. Go and find out if a church does not believe in tithe, you will notice that there is hunger for the word in that church. Anywhere you can go, go everywhere. If they don't believe in tithe, there is no spiritual food in the house. So there is dryness in the house of God. Why? Because there is dryness also in the storehouse. Preachers will struggle to make sense. They will struggle to get even a single revelation. You can, all, you can trace it back to, to, to 10%. If you don't believe in tithe, there will be no food in my house. There will be no food. There will be no spiritual food. People will be hungry for the word. Yeshoko. Hungry. Zara. Why? Because of the 10% that is not given to God. Number five. Cheshanu. It connects you. To the spirit. Ten percent connects you to the spirit. Let us finish verse number ten. Let's look at what happens when you give to God when you pay your tithe. Seek if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. So you pay your tithe so that God can open the windows of heaven over you and then pour you a blessing. Saka uno badara chegu michanko kutimwari wa zarure ma window ekudenga wa kudurure rupa fadzo. So you are giving your tithe to God so that God can do something. Saka urikupa chegu michanko kunamwari kutimwari awane chekuita. Hmm? Nizo. And when God opens the windows of heaven, this is what happens. Mwari akazarura ma window edenga is in those naitika. Get this. But up. Then a blessing will come upon you. And you will not have room enough to contain it. It is coming upon you through the windows of, of heaven. Hmm. 
You see, when, when the windows of heaven open, that place becomes your Bethel. Jacob was at a certain place and the heavens opened. And he saw the angels of God go ascending and descending. And after that dream, he said, this is the house of God. He called it the house of God because of an opening. Without an opening, it is not Bethel. It is Bethel because of an opening of the window of heaven. So a church is not a church unless it is under an open heaven. Bethel only means the house of God. It can never be the house of God unless the heavens are open. Are you following this? So God is telling you that when you give me my 10%, I will open the windows of heaven upon you, which means wherever you go, you will be operating under a Bethel. When the heavens are open, and you are doing whatever you are doing under an open heaven. Just like Jesus, Jesus never preached even a single message. Until after he was baptized and the Bible says and the heavens opened upon him. Now, after that, look at the level of influence when the heavens are open. Just look at the impact. When you are doing something under an open heaven. So this is what happens. Say, come and stand here. Baba, we are in when God opens up the windows of heaven upon an individual, take note. What comes out of that window, it is the blessing. Hello? Hello? Now, if God wants to give you a car, it is possible, I believe, it can even fall from heaven. I will never preach a sermon that limits God. Because most people, they don't believe a car can just fall from, from the sky. They don't believe. Why? Because they believe God is spiritual and, and whatever God does, it has to be spiritual. And yet it is the same God that created the natural. Even yourself, you are a vehicle that fell from the sky. I, I wonder why you doubt a Mercedes Benz and yet you are more sophisticated than a Mercedes Benz. Look at your physical body. You are natural, you are physical, you are tangible. And yet it was the spiritual that created the physical. So what makes you think that money cannot fall from heaven? Okay, but okay, okay, okay. Let, me, let me explain this. But under this particular scripture, what comes through the windows of heaven, it is a blessing. So what is a blessing? What is it that comes through that window? What is a blessing? It is the power to get wealth. The blessing, it is the ability to get the assignment done. A blessing, it is the ability to achieve any achievement. 
Ropa fazo isimbare kubudirira mune chipi ne chipi. That is what comes upon you when the heavens open. Icho cho ndo chino yakuzo kugara kana denga ravurika. So when God looks down on you, and then he opens the windows of heaven. What is coming out of that window, it is a blessing. Of which that blessing, it is a spiritual thing. You can't see it. You can't touch it. You can't even feel it. So you can receive it and not be aware that you have received it. You can be walking from a church service and you are not even aware that something has taken place. Because what has come upon you, it is not material, it is not physical, it is a spiritual thing that you can't feel physically. Okay? Are you, are you getting what I'm talking about? We are still coming back to that same verse for the carnally minded cannot be subject to the law of God. So what happens is this one. You see, there are certain forces that we cannot see. We can only see them when they manifest. For you to open your eyes and really see electricity, it is difficult. The reason why we have enough light in here it is because of these bulbs that you see. She con zero tine magetsi muno desa muno ona zakaturi kwa sirim denga is right. And the moment the electricity is switched off, magetsi akadzima. Darkness takes over this place. And yet we still have the bulbs hanging around us. So the bulbs are coming there to manifest the electricity that we cannot see. So when you receive a blessing, that blessing requires a car as a place of manifestation. When you receive a blessing, it is a spiritual thing. People cannot witness it. They cannot testify to it. It, it requires a place where it can manifest a tangible place. So a blessing without a property is as good as electricity without a bulb. A blessing being a spiritual thing, it requires a physical place where it can manifest from. So I'm talking about, in other scriptures, yes, God can give you anything physically. But talking about this particular verse, God, what is giving you there is just a spiritual thing, a spiritual grace. Okay. <laughs> so if the devil doesn't want you to shine, he knows he cannot switch off your electricity. But he takes away the bulbs. Anything that can cause the electricity to manifest. He takes away the car from you. He takes away good clothes from you. He takes away 
a house from you. He takes away everything that can cause the blessing to, to manifest. Though you are left with the electricity, but you don't have a manifestation of the electricity. The devil is not too much worried about your blessing. He's, he's worried about the manifestation of the blessing. <laughs> when you are jumping and you are praying and you are, and you are worshiping God, he doesn't care. As long as you don't have a place where you can manifest the spiritual things that you have, he doesn't care. Do you know one thing? The Bible says because of Lazarus that was raised from the dead. Many Jews were repenting even after the event. Because even after the event, they kept on looking at the evidence. And they were trying not even to kill Jesus, but to kill the evidence. They will come a time when the devil will stop trying to kill the blessing, but he will try to kill the evidence. Because Jesus is more powerful than Lazarus. Your blessing is more powerful than your car. So the devil will try to attack the car, not the blessing, because it's much bigger than himself. So Lazarus was the evidence. Lazarus is not the resurrection. Lazarus is the resurrected. Jesus is the resurrection. I am the resurrection and I am the life. So as long as Jesus is the resurrection is there and there is no the resurrected, there is no evidence that Jesus can raise the dead. Okay, let me try to explain this again. Jesus, Jesus being the resurrection and there is no the resurrected it is a blessing without a manifestation and when Jesus the resurrection found a place to manifest himself and he raised Lazarus from the dead the enemy came after the evidence this is why the devil is attacking you on physical things because that is where you manifest your spirituality. Why? Because Jesus is the resurrection as long as we can see the resurrected. Am I talking to somebody? I'm saying Jesus is the resurrection as long as we can see the resurrected. When Jesus said, I am the light, he opened the blind eyes. When Jesus said, I am the bread of life, he multiplied the bread. Are you following what I'm talking about? So, he was into manifesting what you couldn't see. He had to manifest it physically somewhere. So, if you don't believe in the material, you've got a problem. Look at the book of Colossians, chapter 1. Verse number 15. Talking about Jesus, who is the image of the invisible God. 
Jesus Jesus is the image Mufananizo. He is the picture Mufananizo. He is the physical of the spiritual God Listen to me Jesus Jesus The reason why he came in the flesh it was so that he can represent God because you can't see God he is the invisible God so Jesus is coming here so that he can be a reflection of what you can see the image of, of the invisible the image of the invisible the image of the invisible a nice shoe in your foot it is an image of the invisible blessing a nice car in your garage it is an image of the invisible blessing when there is no image, we are going to doubt the existence of God. So God gives you a blessing. When God opens up the windows of heaven, what he gives you, it is a spiritual thing. And you don't even know whether you have it or not. Until you can find something to do. That's a place of manifestation. Hmm? Hello? 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 Just like an important man. There is no way of knowing it until you find a place of manifestation. So, God is always pouring a blessing upon you but that blessing requires that you find a place where you can work start doing something in the physical so that that thing can become an image of the invisible thing which is the blessing Sit down. It doesn't matter for the next 70 years, Jesus is going to call himself, I am the resurrection. It's going to be difficult for us to believe him. And when he found a place to manifest his resurrection power, the enemy was trying to kill the evidence. You are born again. You are spiritually blessed. But the devil has vowed it has to remain there in the spirit. The moment you try to bring the manifestation of the blessing in the physical, that is where the devil would begin to attack. So when God opens up the windows of heaven, what he is giving you now it is a spiritual thing so if God is giving you a spiritual thing it means he is giving you a vision so after giving your tithe in fact paying your tithe God will open the window and he will drop a blessing 
and it will come upon you in form of a thought or an idea which is yet to manifest in the physical so I've seen thousands and thousands of people paying their tithe to God and after that they are not sensitive to what God is telling them to do every day listen to me every day you pay your 10% to God there is something new that comes into your mind Look at this. You paid your tithe. You are paying it. Most likely you are employed by somebody. When you pay your tithes, God opens the windows of heaven upon you. And a blessing comes out through the window to lend upon you. Right. The blessing descends upon you as an idea. And you keep that idea and continue working for somebody else until the year is over. You're waiting for the increment. You keep on tithing and God is dropping ideas and those ideas are expiring as you await an increment. Even if they elevate you to a better level, still that is not enough. Was salary, as long as it is called salary. <laughs> salary. There are times when you are supposed to work for somebody. But you should have a plan. After so many years, I have to leave everything and start my own things. So God can give you an idea today. One idea. And then tomorrow when you pay your tithe, he gives you another piece of idea to top on that first idea. And then when you pay your tithe again next week, there comes another idea to, to complement the first idea that you got. But most of you, because you are focusing on the wrong things, the blessing is coming from God right into your brains. And yet you are busy focusing on your boss and your, on your salary, whether it should increase or what. When you give 10% to God, be sensitive to the next move because 10% connects you to the spirit a thought will hit you and I believe it was Paul who wrote the book of Hebrews that's what I believe and I believe it was Paul who wrote the book of Hebrews he said, we cannot even talk of Melchizedek now because you are dull, dull of hearing. And but if we are to talk of Melchizedek now, this is just one aspect that we can talk of. He was a king. He was a prophet. He was the priest of the Most High God. Multifaceted. Then 
Though he was a priest, Kunyanga Kangare Mpurisita, he knew how to handle money because he was also a king. Why Ziva Kabatiro Kemari Nekuta Kangare Mambo Sakari? Though he was a prophet, Kunyanga Kangare Mpurisita, he was in charge of a country. Ai Tonga Nika. Meokizedek. Merekizedek. What, what they are trying to tell you there is this. When Jesus is coming, after the order of Melchizedek, now, he is the high priest, Jesus is the high priest. He is the Melchizedek. And he made us unto priests and kings. In the book of Revelation. Not he shall, he made us. Priests and kings. So we are priests after the order of Jesus. We are priests after the order of Melchizedek. So though we are priests, we are also kings. So we, we, we shouldn't be broke just because we want to serve God. He was a priest and he was a king. We are talking of three offices. Influential offices on one individual. Offices You can find Melchizedek in the parliament addressing some group of ministers. And after that you can find him in the, in the temple offering sacrifices. He knows how to handle money and he knows how to handle the work of God. So when God called you he called you to be a priest and also to be a king. You are not just here to serve God and it ends there. You serve God by being a priest and you also become a king in a certain area. Now, let me give you this very good example. Sit down. You know that if you see a police officer, and he doesn't have a big position at work. And yet he has got seven cars, seven houses. You believe that corruption is taking place. Am I lying? If you look at the salary, how much he is getting compared to what he has. It doesn't tarry. So you believe this is corruption. Nothing else. This is corruption. Why? Because you only believe in one office. Can I talk about Melchizedek a little bit? Dinga tawana so Melchizedek here. Do you know that this man, before he became a police officer, he was somebody before? Huh? Do you know that somebody, even before you can become a minister, you were somebody? It becomes your problem when you have money before you get a position. Right. Uh -huh. It becomes a problem. When you have money before you get a position, because after you get a position, everybody will think that money is coming from the position. This is a problem. I'm telling you a problem. If you have money as a pastor, they think your money is coming from church members. They don't realize that you were there even before the ministry began. We are talking of Melchizedek who is multifaceted.
Wese mufundisa ne mari yake inongonzi yakabva muchifundisa why because vanhu vane kufungwa dzaka fonyokera pa office 1 meukizedeka anga ari mupresider and aine ma business meukizedeka was a priest and a businessman all right ndikuva kuti ma partners ana ndi okay <laughs> I want to go to Gaona. Did you find a motor? Yaganaka and I found a motor. Yaganaka won't go from God. You offer it. My work on our papa. This lady that you see here. I work. Listen. You tell me. Ipa papa. Pano Shandwa up. She works. We have that right. Paul and the Bano in the Gazza, Gushanda Namao Kwango, in the Regate, the Gube, a bed in Kwamuri. Paul says in some scripture, I learned to labor with my hands so that I can be a bed. Bizimus. She has a lot of businesses. But Maria Momanji, Tika Zoita, she knew Nayo, Inogonzia, Vagupi, Kuchesh. I understand the mystery, Yamilki, the Dekabuti, Wangari, Purisita, and Angari, Mam. They don't. Understand the ministry of Melchizedek that you as a priest and a king. You think I can come here and bless you ahead of my wife? Is so such those not to consider good tea number one in Pakuema partners, ministry, you know. This is the exact thing that makes us first in partnership in this ministry. But no problem. Do not try to correct I'm just trying to correct an anomaly that is in this country. Laga is in Baigos, you know, in City sports, you know. Build a mansion the size of this uh, auditorium. Concerning marriage and church. And you'll hear what people begin to say about church funds. Melchizedek was both a priest. Melchizedek akangare mu prisita. And a king. Na mambo zakare. Kana muri pano mchindi zwa even ni mese ma pastors. Muga ona mchimiri la salary. Akuma na muno siri risa. Pastors, if you are just reliant on your salary, I. I feel pity for you. Salary. Iwe mai wako wacho waripa duze na baba. Uchona wachita business iwa udi. Mai. Your very own mother is engaged in businesses. Doba nda kufunza hii mimi kutuwa minister wese attack. Aru isa kutawane farm. Poti mkuru wenyika wamu gabe. Waita farm, ambo ita president, but waita farm uri nechibagi. Wambo ita president, but wotu wake na kumuenda kumunda. Vane mombe, vane mbuzi, iwa hudi, sese iso, sese iso. What kind of a position do you have? Uneshikaro chakanyanya kudi ikwe iwe. Ano amari? People of God, listen to me well. Listen to me, I don't know how to express this. Tinoto, Tinoto days go on. My water and the Kumbra meeting in the Mindot in the Ogara on the Pama Pepa business Rapa Catra Dira 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 Nababa, <laughs> 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 
Ko uno rambizwa kutanga ero shumiri tanga waka uiwane. Yo pa uno rizamuri zori koko katevarume. Yarambizwa ero kutanga ministry achu. Eka, shitanga ka uno zonera kutukune mari ere. Zika, chino diwa nda chichi wano wa mngari. Kana uchuya kuimba ya mngari, you are coming to Bethel, where the windows of heavens are open. And what you receive here for serving God, it's not a salary. You receive a spiritual input into your spirit. Chauluka mushira pano kushumira mngari, unowa na chinu, chemwe ya mauri. Dopa muru kuhipota wa shinji venyu pana, angoya riza kitare akuda mari. This is where most of you miss it. When you come to save God, listen to me. If you, you are singing for God, and you require, require money for your service, you are accepting money from an open window. It is the spiritual empowerment. Kutikana wazo buda wakaenda kunzo Unono manifesta chemwea Chawaka kamuchira kupetele Ok, tika tanga kuta ora Na wano funga uta Waso tanga swadai Alright, ma leaders Watanga tina wano zia Angari ma committee members Tiri pa Hebron Pa chitunguisa Wano zia Itinaro darajore nse pana Mwabunze wawa kutinda itambira mari Ask these people how much I was it is getting. Shika po first meeting, In our first meeting, I told them I will not get a salary from you. I was coming from Blawayo. And I told them openly, if you want to pay me, you can't afford. Because the way I work, you are not my boss. You are not my boss. The one that pays you is your boss. Negadere gani fat zemari kana afara ne na chantambiris. And I say to them, let me please God. When God is pleased with me, He will pay me. Uka zuzi amunu na zonza davaya guta. Iwe inzwa. Guta ora a principle ino follow ewa. I'm talking about a principle that is followed. If you want to escape in life, if you meet a spiritual somebody, don't Check the spiritual and get it to manifest. My way is Jacob Paradiguna Labanda, we end as Ganza, what our salary at our Abdinauda when Robert Pacapina salary was assigned. When Jacob resigned from Laban, this is when the salary issue was discussed. Just to hold him back. The salary is just an entrapment so that you don't leave. In Laban said, I have learned that God has blessed me Which means you Meaning that you are giving me spiritual things and I want to give you physical things. And Jacob said, that's an unstutter. <laughs> It came to us as a revelation. And this, the Lord was saying, this is where people are limiting their blessing. Since that time, when God, God told us, 
We went to announce that please don't give us a salary. salary, but So give it to us. So our salary was dropped at the office. Mind over won't change envelope. envelope envelope. And my wife would just change the envelope and address it to another window. And every month, my wife would phone this widow the very same day we are paid that go and collect because your salary from the office. It's not enough. It's not enough. I don't believe that there's a salary that is commensurate with this work that I'm doing, even a million dollars a day. So why should I pay the new? You cannot afford it. This is the problem. If somebody is employed in a particular place, they limit everything that he has accumulated to that particular job. This is why you see that we have pastors that are being criticized. If you visit the internet right now, there are houses belonging to pastors. They photograph them from helicopters and put them on the internet. And they say, look at this pastor's house. How come a pastor says in such a mansion? And everybody that reads because they are down, they think that this is only achievable through an offering. And yet if you research the lives of these pastors, I know of one that runs a power station as people pay their electricity bills they are paying into his pocket but when he builds his house the people claim that these are church funds and yet he is running a successful business and yet these are pastors that are using their hands to labor because they are coming under the order of Melchizedek this is the unfortunate thing. Anything that you accrue as a pastor is coming from your pastoral work. Yeah. There is nothing that stands in the way. After preaching, like Melchizedek, go into an overall, get into your mind. That is allowed. Kakako was going to doctrine the name and the full time. Pastor, part-time pastor. Yeah, I'm full-time. We have been hampered by false doctrines that talk of full-time and part-time pastors. Even among our people, we are not busy. We must end up with something that May businessmen, business people emerge from this gathering. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Hmm. I to say
imbozenza azinetse nokona kusvika panzvimbo just try this get to a particular place this is just an example unosvika panzvimbo unoona paine vanhu vanobva kukona kunobuda kukona you get to a particular place there is a queue from that corner to that corner parodi papo muri kufamba zvinga namuri kuenda hamene kana mugwa muri kuenda this is along the way yes and all these people are selling sweet potatoes ushitoona kuti dziri kutengwa and you can actually see that people are buying vachita 5 dollars mugomo and it's 5 dollars a bucket we are passing through that place you've got words of cash to buy all those buckets at five dollars and you tell them please remain seated nobody's leaving this place i am buying from you at six dollars eight dollars and you sell at eight dollars i've got your money right here and you are sitting there you don't have a single bucket all right as in a mosha kuti ndiyana azo tenger wa ipapa it doesn't matter who they buy from Imariani it's your money na vamwe venyu muri pana pa munes ndikati ndikati enontanga business une cha winna cho cha unogona kutengesa na vamwe vote hakokana ndi sina unogona unge hosina cho kutengesa but uchiziva necha ari kutengesa asinga gone kuchitengesa as your startup you might know somebody that has something to sell but it's not the ne, 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 ne. that you have nothing to sell. But the one that has something to sell is unable to sell. What stops you? What stops you from taking the car that they've been trying to sell for the last three months? There is no capital involved there. This car belongs to somebody. This is just skill. You've got the grace to sell upon you. Some of you here, you have businesses. Let's say you are running a butchery. You are situated in the remotest part of that particular place. And yet there is another butchery in town. And there is always a queue there. You have never passed through there. You don't know what they sell. You don't know how much they are paying in rentals. And you are leaving them there. Listen to me well. I spoke to a particular person he was selling his car. He was also running um, minibuses. So he wanted to sell his car to no, buy another minibus. No, a so he took it to a castle. And in a butcher. And he also had a butchery. So he came to me for counseling and he said, This transport business is not paying me well. And he began to explain the uh, problems in the industry. And I said to him, Whatever amount you have earned this week 
in this week. Just get your own people. Set somebody here in town. Then you also somebody, set somebody in Mabvuku that will board that minibus. All they are doing is to count the number of people that board and disembark from the minibus. Why are you letting people steal from you? If you give them your money, one spy per trip, can you count that as a loss? Why not send somebody to buy four kgs from your butchery? And just see how much they declare as their day's takings. Problem here today. Tiriku kurumbiza kudaku gari katichango tanga. Our problem is we quickly get too comfortable. Can I hear one kombi? Oh, see now, uno see the way pamba ne one kombi. Chenda usara pamba pasi na kombi. What do you drive away? If you are just managing one minibus, why not drive it yourself? Drive it yourself. Ropinda <laughs> into a business that I know they are with noise, Nama Purisa. The noise. You work on a one moon and a uniform on us. You one. Do you know the every, every roadblock? Every roadblock. Can you have no food and a person? I miss. Kungo <laughs> Hey. No zwei re kuti nyaya ripone zoro wedu chaiyo. Yai gona kuti kwa basina prize. Ne anointing ina mngari. Panga basina need ya kuti Jesu awe kuzosafa ne kuti ro parake ri deo ke kuti titengo Jesus. Kana singa believe in buying. No, it is a rule, it is a, it is a policy, it is a law. The relationship I create take a personal sacrifice. Yana sina problem without sorrow. Panyigapan. Hana. Mundesani problem without sorrow. 
And where are you? Where are you? Chinjino rwadza ndi chekuti kanzwa mwara kati ndi charo pafadza basa remaoko iwo usina remaoko. Kanzwa mwara daro cheti. Pamuno manya kugoma kunona matamariro pafadza ekomborera munodzoka muchiona ma India ndavandi vane remaoko. Mwari unoenda kubasa remaoko iwa huna remaoko. Tumam Chinda, Motega, Rovera, Pacasa, and the Gatti, even better marriage than Maria Catan, the Gatuna Yepe. Go to Oregon, or Juno Funza, a Tuba Muna, no Tenga. Baba Zenda, Magatine, do not Tenga Motigar. Yanga, I suppose, I should not Tanga business in Rimwe. It's a ten thousand. I see I married ten thousand. I didn't do that ten thousand. Where's our Gushika? About nineteen. Nineteen thousand. Those are my Zia, say, I don't say. Motesha and Tenga. You are a garra gumba or good. Mangwana Mangwana, she got one. Motango is going there, Motango, but I don't want to go up and up. I don't find that maybe that guy is promising man. Mumachi tora mota chino ipaka pa robot. Nona kabuda so goti iri muuswa yaganzi for sale. Abana grace zaji na zoga. Azi zeutamba. Indoranga rajenda bane mwenzimbo. Tichitenga chin. Don't you see a pap? Kuko chitenga or see a pap? She's a president. Is she married? Otenga, see a pap is a president. Is she married? Otenga, see a pap is a president. In the Anasanga, in the Rao by testimony, I want to know who's about the microphone. In the Itikan Tenga Samotka, in the Garai pap. Yeah. Daisa Mota Zangu four, five yapa, Nutora Chia no Gara, Mukaze or Murid, Dawayangu Marino and Diri Pap. Yes. Did you manifest that? Oh, yes. Chemwe Achirimandiru. Naitenga Iwe. Ziva would is not can you say Mumia? I'm a new moon or two mil one moon. Now I'm not from what I ever had a canamada to Maringa, pay my helpers, Maringa to me on an Ocuba Trenchy, Rufo, and I don't go into Doras Ocuba, Oenda. Yopa, no, we are Manocupa safe. I know what you owe. You only treat a cat. Are you helper? Unoli ngwa uri pa garage uchidira fio unozwa murunga kuti kana wakutengesa motikari undi fundi I would like to, to buy this car from you. Yo nakirwa <laughs> okay okay okay. Womusi achienda hauvunzi kuti ungade mari. Mota inoswera pasina masondo matatu inenge yafonyoka. Iyo mota iyo. Kuno tumirwa munhu ukazo paunenge hozo nakuitengesa. Aha. Chambo ita kutade yako, aku inge uchidira fio kuti Ha, kana wangu tenge samota, iwa au, au zi sensitive Uno idi imota, harizi business right. It's a liability yeah. Uno idi imota ya kanaka kudai uchiri kutambura Doba muno tanga kunetza na wa mwenye mimi papa Nye wari zimba 
no pakas motor no chikisa uchi roja pambai murids renti nenge chikwira pasondo pasondo izo zuka zita rana luta ura izo zino to itika hivi numa churches kune ma pastors varimu ministry for more than 60 years Wachi paka mas mota no chikisa wari pa venue yeku renta Awas kubaka kana church Kana stand ye ye church awan Pastor wacho Aine ma yes No development no what Dude, <laughs> George Mumba Marco was nice, who cannot pinda. Kutanga Kunga needs a marabish, yes, I remo. I know no temper pa auction. Pa auction by a bissia Uri Poso, Rengen Yanagoji Bejer, Uri Poga Garasa. Tell the divin. She knew Chausi sad and Shirumba Marco, she never was a chaka somewhere. Kunemu <laughs> Danda rekumusha. Uruta ora capital. Andi na kuti nda unovesa. Ndati chaka tovesa kwa namarikari chine mango. Uruta ora kurova ne send paper. Kuno tuta matanda kuisa pa msora papers. So gazi kwa paroda. Uwe one shall know when the kids go to Marujit. Marigu and Dagunava Mavan every day. Every day. So, yes, I'm going to have another cup of tea at Ratengai. At Rawitanga, I'm going to shop him ten. Maria Gain, the Abadam Jechi, Maru Arten by every service. I could not tell Maru Abana about no zeal. You can every day or a Sunura Mari. This was she shall not shut up Panapa Chaka Vosho Pana. Emma Patti, a microphone, you know, what about microphone? Knowing Banevano, Fundis, and also much we attend. Shall go you want to boy out a bandaza machino, charampachino, charampachino, and a crumbs of Faramena. No crumbs of the who could be an angaro to our own tries, yes, as Rampa, and a chess chambo try. And a chess chambo try, Papa can a one anna. Do you know Kune 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 non the Guinness World Record? We do kind of booky mama no na Kune wa no anita so it's extraordinary. And the achita you know badariroa. We not chagua. We not chagua. We no more daga ona a Buddha anga in the voice langa risha pora we try to aka 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 dead zira katar sa grass right right crack. 
vachi vaka kukauya vanodzidza huro kuzama kuda kuvheneka kuti vaone kuti iya chimeka mari pa wese amuvheneka ari kubhadhara ne huro ya hana 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 basa raita munhu wese une cha wakapihwa namwari chisinga gone kwene mumwe Papa ndo paka wanda kufuma yako ipapa Nika yese Ni wanu watema waka wanda kuda iso Nita wanu murunga no tikita Hakuna sisina mari. Right. Iko zvino zvitaenda, taenda taenda ku fishing. Right. Ezvino ezvi vane hove yaruti kabatwa unowana mari. Bass fish. Muno mudzine ma bass anditi Zimbabwe indori pa top pa nyika dzine hove iyoyo. Ndizvo. Ine ma kg mangani? About 12 kg. 12 kg zvakaibata iyo unowana mari. 1 million dollars. Iyohove. Ba, bas Namba dzacho dzinotoripo kuti ukaibata kwa zvino zvotofona yoto yaitorwa wo fly aiwewe ndavabata 12 kg hove nechirauro chemuti kudaya kunokanda kubati kuibata iyoyo 1 million Ari kusita mari iri kure Akomana Zirauro zinopera mashopu Ata yawasha msuno Taiga tournamentu Mamaru hui na chiko koko Nona kuna Moti kari Moti Wanenga wariko Wariko hui nisana Iko zinesu Yaka pera last week yo. Yaka pata uwewe. Uzambeze yedu ii. Kuna wariku familiri kwa maku mwaku yao sita kubetishen yoyo bezi. Awu ina wariku wana wariku fapo ne moti kari ne boti rake ne chine mari. Naku pata uwewe. Yasi naku pereka naku izuara naku kuipata ne chira uwewe. Kuna ziva wariku right now. Inya yari to report doctor is why nokupa i list iko zvine izvi pama fishermen ma best fishermen e bus kuti pane ma doctors mangani va resign kuve ma doctor va kubata bus fish ma america Aubata wewe, hivi na kutenge sama nyongo rosi, na kutenge sama. Endo waka enda kuzimbo, kwa chuka wantula ma competition, pastor, yeso wiko enda mkaripa wu. Mkaripa, kwa chuka wantula competition ya, pana kana wu, akuna kana wu, wani shopi ya jira wu. Kana. Kana wani shopi ya zura wala hakuna. Kwa shotele wanazo, unoto drive wakufa ikoko. Kwa uso bata harare kuna. Pacho paka sosera, pacho paninya ya yoyo. Atina mtendi weda ni chini ipa. Kuto rone mumu neripana. Rukuza shinoi window rika furika rukudenga unopi wandangari rona mngari. 
Ah, Right? Right? Tengere <laughs> Do you know what's going on in the Every delivery a waiter on one dollar. Delivery is a waiter on one dollar. You end up on a power coach and delivery is a waiter on over twenty cents, ten cents. You relax as well. Chagas, you must repeat. A marriage pinda chet. 
Unacho mari chakato chakato kupa chakuto ita. Kusichaga ipa papa waka gara waka yaso zika mazaku. Kuchano jidenga raka furika kudara waka pi wachimo ichinu na mari chakuto ita. Maita Kunze when you go kwa wakuno kwa wakuno kwa wakuno mchuona Kune mwenyika ya kamiri la voice rako yiko zino Every time Gaona ruko warwako keri tiro wapoka mwari wavura mukana kumwe terera kuti mwari vari kuti toenda kupi kana pana paruko varwawo ma nde kupi kwa tiri kuenda pane nyaya uye pana apa uchinzi kwavhangere yakadai denga rakavhurika so pana apa rakavhurika kudai so Zirukupinda misore wa na zuwe ringe kemkatu, zuwe ringe, zuwe ringe, zuwe ringe. Chandi no ziba mari chano gona. Yopo aruku shanda ipapo kapada. Kutoda ndo unga tonetsi, ukapada. Chaji nizgoi, anasika na wanakoma, kana musina propat, amuna pfuma. Anizgoi re. Kamarika wawana, kano kwa na stand somewhere, two tama stands. Sina basa kutai wa ukude aguzi kwako Ndirikuti kuti kaire mushe Vanhu vakachenjera Vanhu vakachenjera do you know kuti kune 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 idzwa kune auction yedzimba Muno munyika ndi kana dzimba dzinane 2000 dollars one thousand dollars imba. You think by imba mbaro? Yembari ne one thousand. Why wanna? Unga wane re? Unga wane koko renda ko borodio? Mbaro ma wane boko renda? Unwe sano pa dira pa duze ne tau? Achi renda i papa? Upunze mari aru bata? Kuna aru bata ma one thousand? Five hundred? Imba yate mwa 1,000. Hmm. Ayos. Hmm. Ono fana uti, kure rino ya parino pera. Ono wawo zaati ndine 17 ma properties. Inda kau zamari nika toda, dote sama breaking neva no akandi komba cheti. Ah, dogu chikira, dogu chikira mu e yuzinga iti. Noko ara.
Ayo, 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 ayo. Ndiri nindaka garapa waka garapa ndi chinzu waizu. Ndi neru wakoro waka dai. Murugu rara mkwa waka rebesa. Murugu muka wamu waita mari. And a million more account. Four hours. With no button a six man, a room and a ten man one. Snagades as this. We can I chew each butter am a usipo. Kaona Sekuru Magandua Vagaita Greenhouse, Seguri Papa, Panita Bass. Kunza uku pamba ino kandra watu mwenye nzgera tizi. Ha? Ukumbu ya makandi wa kumusha kwa kusi kama wote ndi business woman. Eh? Kuna siri kutenga siku iko zino kumusha. Asin do wa ne kodzere kunya so gara wa chichi ka mariye mwana wao. Hello? Pati ku gara koramba. Ha! Muru wane rabutu wa chichi wenye muru ngozi pari rabura mba mjungu wa fangu wenye zina wakwana. Murusha is a marriage concert of Uchengitirai. Murizue Munda got the Tema Mutu. Say Uchita Zerapas. The way up our Banas Beru and Tema Mut and Uruta Zerapas and Anoyering. It is sinning against the ground. Mutu and Wakango Miras was in the Berries Guns. Utame and the Uruta Zerapas. Chivish or Rita Yogur and Wakango Miris, Kababas, Uchiga, but Usinga Kuta Zerapas. Number yedu i. Zaku dai ko zine zipe se kambani yese iri mumu wedu panam. Akuna kama mukira wangu sana kumbwa manya wuto wano wuto speed wuno sisi wapa pina mara wuto sivi wuno manya wuto kapa wangu sana awana kumbota kumbota raya yuo nongo funga wudi ya shachet awana kumbwa sisi sawa into practice wuto wano wuto waenda pano warwa waenda pano warwa akuwa zamu na akuwa zamu koko tanga uboxe. Chore woga na usinga rigone kwa wakuno tenga tambo, wori tanga, zinongo nyore eskwa zhiye. Ndiye kubi kwa kusha zika na mamasu, wano kwa rano nyo yasone kwa boki seniri ni msoro. Mwishanda paka mbani ya kuti every time ye lunch, kuno tono chakba, wato tenga chikafu kubi. Uripo, Sadza, Unekumba, Unestofu, Unepoto. Uzono chaka kupera kwe gore pa budget, Ichikafu chede chaka tengiru wa staff. Mari chenda kwe wamwe, Ye Sadza. Ye Sadza. Rawego na kusia wana wachibiga kumba ungo tinasendo kupaere free mungo nzwa. Staff yo jika mahara kawan. Kawan. Sadza. Posu nesu haru tenge sa mfura kuta more money than haru tenge sa madrink.
Vura. Vura. Dem boro. Ngo zanzi treated treated uyepa inongo yeri ra ichivhapa inobuda nokoku yausoka muzvigubhu. Tese pana pata bike atakuda micheno pana. Ari wese afunga kunotenga runopinda mushop yomwe munhu asi remember ichi chine. Why? Dai mai ita kuti ndi 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 ndikupushe mumusvike pamwe nofana kunyasa zvika chapo chapo chapo. Opportunity <laughs> Ese wango uruvu ruvu 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 chanyaso zomira hapana Maripano 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 <laughs> Kune marudzi ko zvinoiswe kuti kana pano rorwa mwana avaite kuti eh zvakazode ha pondana nemukwasha zvino makia andobva kwate zva Vana ngoma akuenda chipo icho vakwasha varwisawo contribution yao azite zvarawo pavana vabatana vana pakutangira tichiri kumashure kwakanyanya kusingaiti kusingaiti mchato waidai watanga na 10 okuroko munozvika 1 vana tete vachibheja vari pamusuwo kuti hativhe pano isai mari vakumbirwa vakumbirwa zvena ive ndi venga tabhoka ndaye mwanza ai ha poto shaurwa Ukumereje ofisa akabata mabhuka ake kumirira mwana Africa Africa mwari ngati batsiri Vanga dai vachendesa zvipo Ota wana pakwanira mari What's the marriage is a good breaker? Why? Russia manage no Aurora. Aurora, she and him can't walk a pamba, a mugere, me, my beric. She's on a sauce. What is a social one? One end of Nora Zoga Nemura Pamba, Muripo Mesepa, which team by no mira. Put on an arrow Afunga <laughs> Murumano Shanda Pakamban in seventeen years. I was here Dari Basar, Ano Shanda Dinunzi, Ano Yanima Pepa, Kumutai Pirao. Assignment Yokasa in Bondi Pound to Kutai Pire. Wait a secretary, Murumako Kumba. Kuvenisha no go no Basara Babana. Rosa Zaragone, when Ambuyawa could not mine a wind around Gonero. Jesus said, Behold, I give you. <laughs> <laughs>